I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's Working Waterfront. Hello from the Pierce County Career Construction Day presented by the Port of Tacoma. We are at the Washington State Fairgrounds where the port has a booth and several pieces of big equipment. High school students are here learning about career opportunities. With a shortage of people in the maritime industry and the trades, the port is increasingly focused on developing the workforce of the future. This year, the port is contracting with Workforce Central to place people in internships and paid work experiences. The port's partnership with Tacoma Public Schools took another step forward in May when commissioners approved a ground lease for the Maritime 253 Skills Center. Maritime 253 will provide career and technical education to high school students from across Pierce County free of charge. It will be built next door to the port's new business office along the Foss Waterway. Construction of the Port Maritime Center is expected to start next year. The port is making progress holding polluters accountable. A class action settlement with the PCB manufacturer Monsanto included a nearly $10 million payment to the Port of Tacoma to help cover the costs of cleaning up contamination. For more than 35 years, the port incurred significant costs cleaning up PCBs in three waterways. The port regularly works to make contaminated land useful again and last year won a national award for remediation. Port commissioners approved nearly $170,000 in new economic development investments. A railroad track expansion at Western Forest Industries Museum, an Esplanade connection at Foss Waterway Seaport, and the McKinley Overlook in Tacoma are among the projects receiving money from the port's Local Economic Development Investment Fund. The fund provides money to nonprofits and local governments. We're hearing back from the community, and I'm glad this is a program that is, in my mind, very successful. The port's investment program is designed to promote Washington state-based international trade, tourism, or infrastructure efforts in Pierce County. Hundreds of agricultural exporters met in Tacoma in May. The Northwest Seaport Alliance is a sponsor of the Agricultural Transportation Coalition's annual meeting. NWSA co-chair and Port of Tacoma Commission President Kristen Ang gave opening remarks. Port of Tacoma commissioners meet each month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. The meetings begin at noon and public comment is welcome. To find out what's on the meeting agenda, we invite you to sign up at portoftacoma.com for Peerside, our email newsletter. Peerside subscribers are the first to find out when free tickets become available for boat tours of the port. Last year, the event drew more than a thousand people. I loved it. It was great, actually. I loved the tour. It was uh, exciting and very informative. The boat tours happen in August. The port will announce the date and make those free tickets available sometime after the 4th of July. You can also stay connected with the port on social media. Three Pierce County businesses are being honored for environmental sustainability. The Tacoma Pierce County Chamber, Communities for a Healthy Bay, and the Port of Tacoma launched the Environmental Excellence Business Award this year. Radius Recycling got the top honor for supporting the circular economy. Tacoma startup Aquaga received an Innovation Award for removing forever chemicals from the environment. And an honorable mention went to LRI Waste Connections for composting and turning waste into energy. Finally this month, the call of the wild in port habitat sites. That's Scott Markowitz of the Puget Sound Bird Observatory playing bird calls in Upper Clear Creek, a port-owned habitat site. Each year he visits to play recordings of various birds and count how many answer. This is community science at its best. 
What we're looking for are the, the secretive birds, the birds that you don't really see very easily. Markowitz has been visiting Upper Clear Creek since it was planted. He says the habitat is getting better each year and he's finding many more birds than he first expected. Thanks for joining us from the Washington State Fairgrounds. We'll be back in July with a new edition of Working Waterfront.